Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mayank Bansu and uh, I'm sharing this video of a patient who came for silicone oil removal, operated for a vitreoretinal surgery for retinal detachment and uh, on examination the vision was uh, 5 by 60 and there was this dense adherent epiretinal membrane which was uh, causing traction on the macula. The macula thickness was 500 microns and uh, uh, there was this membrane surrounding most of the optic disc as well. So following the silicon oil removal, uh, we took a closer look to look at areas from where to attempt the removal of the membrane. Um, while making sure not to damage any of the major retinal vessels and not trying to peel on top of the fovea and macular area. So I made an initial attempt at peeling in a, at a higher field of view and lower magnification but uh, was much more comfortable uh, with a higher magnification and low field of view. So we moved the lenses and then after that attempted to lift the edge of the membrane away from the major vessels um, using the ILM peeling forceps and following getting a single edge was able to remove the membrane from the macula as well as the nasal area after which we moved on to the wide angle viewing system and uh, gently peeled off the membrane and trimmed it up to the edges of the laser scar this uh, but we did not attempt to peel it further uh, lest new breaks would form and after which uh, did an air fluid exchange and uh, uh, closed the boots. Thank you for watching this. I hope you find this video useful. Please do share your comments. Thank you.